Well, the Urban Umbrella is a consignment in crafting shop. So I started it three weeks ago is when we opened. And since we've been adding more consigners who want to put their arts and crafts in here mm -hmm. and um, kind of just giving local artists a space to show their things. I would describe it as a really authentic, unique, one-of-a-kind place. So every time you walk in here, there's going to be something new. We're always going to be putting out new collections and we're going to be rotating our consigners. So to give everybody a chance to have their stuff in here. And everything, um, most everything is local. Yeah. So somebody living in this area has made it. Um, and so it's very like homespun. I grew up with my grandpa teaching me how to build anything that I wanted. I'd want a new headboard and he would say, okay, let's build that. Mm -hmm. And um, then when I moved out here, I bought my own home with my husband and we kind of did the same thing. I was like, ooh, I'd really like this and I'd really like that. And so we would build it together. Yeah. Um, anywhere between, you know, farmhouse dining tables to headboards to end tables for our bedroom. And then I started to craft and make wreaths and mm -hmm. signs and just kind of decorate our home. And all of our friends would come over and say, oh my gosh, that's so cute. You should sell this. You should make this for me. And so, you know, I was um, thinking about what I wanted to do out here when I moved. I was like, okay, I have to get a job. And so I'm like, okay, I will sell this and I, I will make this. So um, that's kind of where we got our start. I do custom Scrabble tiles for people's names or words that they want um, to intertwine together. I do custom notes. So if you bring in a note, mm -hmm. I can enlarge it and then paint it onto a canvas or a board and kind of customize that for you. That was okay. inspired when my husband was away. He um, would write me notes and I didn't want to just put them in a drawer. So I projected one onto a big board and then I hung it in our house. And so I've been doing quite a few of those for people and it's just really nice to kind of give that to others, you know, they yeah. have like, these amazing stories that they come in here, either a loved one has passed away or a loved one is gone or they want to have a picture of what their kid drew or a note they wrote them when they were younger. It's custom, it's for you, nobody else is going to have that and it's personal. Yeah. It's not just something that, oh, you know, I like this and I'm just going to buy it. It's something for you. It's something that means something to you. It's really meaningful, authentic art. Yeah. It's great to kind of show people how to do things that you wouldn't really think of to do on your own. So yeah. it's just a fun excuse to spend an afternoon with your friends and get out and kind of explore Clovis and, you know, have some refreshments and do a fun craft. It was always in the back of my mind, which is why I don't think my shop is very crowded. I wanted to be able to move things around to make room for people to come in and learn and to just have a good time here and yeah. to just kind of have that open door policy where people feel comfortable when they come in and they want to spend an hour or so in here doing crafts. Yeah, yeah it's definitely nice, you know, to kind of keep that going and you know every day I talk to him I call him on my way home from work every day because he's still back on the east coast mm -hmm. and every day he just tells me he's proud of me and you know it's just great that we can you know take stuff that he taught me when I was younger and just kind of share that with everybody else.